All right, final thoughts and conclusions about the HTC Hero, the third Android phone from HTC that now comes with HTC Sense. Uh, from a hardware perspective and a software perspective, it's an improvement over existing Android models, and it's the best Android phone out there. Does it have problems? Yes. Is it perfect? No. Can the problems be addressed with firmware updates? Probably. Will they? I'm sure they will because HTC Sense isn't just this phone. HTC can improve this phone by improving the software that will be on this model and other Android models. So it shouldn't be really hard for them to improve. In fact, it's probably a priority. Um, but when you look at what we've got with the 3.5 millimeter headset jack, um, is a just a lifesaver for music fans. And when you combine that with the widgets that they have, um, like the multimedia widget, and how this works, it really is pretty much like a like a uh, MP3 player. Well, better than MP3 player, but um, the speaker's nice, loud, and clear. Of course, you're going to be using your headphones since you have this. But um, the the media player is awesome. You have an improvement with the. 5 megapixel camera now um, and the improvement comes with the audio with the quality of the picture and um, but I think mainly a lot of the improvements that I see are with the editing features with the, the option to zoom with the ability to do um, to change what resolution you're taking the picture at to do contrasts stuff like that which hadn't been available in previous models um, the pictures come out good. There is no flash on them. That's a different, uh, that's a, you know, something that I would like to see. So the camera, yes, could be better. Um, the style and design, I think, is fantastic. I'm someone who likes hardware keyboards, but I found the, after calibrating the keyboard, which I suggest everybody do, and after using it for a while, even the vertical um, keyboard seemed to work fine and I really got the hang of it. Uh, although I prefer using it in landscape mode and ultimately I prefer a hardware keyboard, I'd have no problem using this phone as my day-to-day -day phone um, and, and it works really well. The one thing is that it doesn't always switch to landscape mode when you think it would or when you might want it to. Um, whether you're changing options in the settings for the phone or you're working within widgets sometimes you it's something long and you want to use the landscape version but it just won't switch out of that vertical keyboard mode it became less of a problem as time went on for me because I I calibrated the keyboard and then I did learn to type a little better with that keyboard um, over time but um, still you know you'd like to you'd kinda like to see that there uh, the the idea for scenes is a great one. I love the fact that there's more screen real estate because I found myself on my phone, the G1, putting things into folders. I have a folder for games and a folder for utilities, and and it's a little cramped. So with with seven home screens, plus the ability to add additional scenes depending on you know what you're up to or what your current scene is, whether you're you know out at night or you're. Um, or you're at work and you want to look at stocks there's and there's a ton of options for widgets so as far as customizing your phone and adding some extension to the base Android package I absolutely love it um, let's see what else can we tell you the trackball and the hardware buttons and the and the touch screen are great some people mentioned the touch screen was a little bit slow and laggy and I'll agree I'll agree to an extent um, I think some of the, in some cases it's a matter of the widgets not having access to update in the background and that might even be a uh, let's see that might even be something that we can change in uh, data synchronization so yeah if you're looking at Google um, background data so it looks like this is automatically synced some of the things like the weather and the time you just saw the time change right there I, I, I think the that stuff that's really simple to fix and they'll fix it over time. I mean maybe not really simple, but they're minor issues, they're polish issues. I think we all already agree that this is the most polished Android phone on the market in terms of the user interface and the integration. So, you know, I'm willing to deal with a little bit of a lagginess and I think that it will be improved. Um 
talking about the UI improvement, it really isn't only a UI improvement. It's also an improvement with just communication integration, integrating the Facebook and the Twitter and, um, and Flickr as well, and I'm sure more will come. I would like to see an improvement with the way Facebook's integrated. I'm not sure if that's the HTC's fault or um, if it's just difficult, if Facebook makes it difficult. But I... Uh, I really like the way that they have the you can add the favorites as widgets and you can view you know different correspondence from the same person in the same window with texts and um, chats and Facebook status updates and all in one um, window that's very neat um, you've got flash on the browser which is great and we established that it doesn't it always renders properly usually if it's just flash that's uh, you know and photo gallery or or an image um, something that's enhancing the overall look and feel uh, or like a movie or something like that but if you expect to be um, to be to be working and to be interacting with the flash animation you're probably not gonna be able to do that at least just yet um, that may come down the road this is the first time the HTC has integrated the you know flash with android um, and and right now you do get a vast improvement in the browser rendering and more web pages load better if you want an example load htc.com and tell me how awesome it looks and then load it on another phone and see where you get the error message saying you need flash to do it so we're getting much closer to using mobile uh... mobile web browsing uh, you know being on par as regular web browsing we've also got the pinch and zoom now, um, which is a great feature, and it's not also not only available on the web, but it's available on documents like PDFs and uh, Excel and and Word and all those. So, uh, pinch and zoom is very convenient. Hopefully, we'll see that on more phones in the future. The document browser is great. I know the PDF default one is wonderful. I haven't really tried the other ones, um, but. I played with them a tad, didn't really dive in, but you can only read with them. You can't actually edit. Um, so I think that is about it. That should cover it. If there's other stuff you guys want to know, feel free to uh, leave a comment or contact us, and we'll try and do a review of other information. Um, remember, this is uh, this version of the Hero is the UK European version, and I'm operating it on T-Mobile USA. Um, and so it doesn't have 3G bands, so all my reviews have been uh, a little bit toned down because I'm not able to access the network with the speed. By the way, the sound quality of phone calls um, I thought was pretty darn good. And the overall look of the phone, and I think this does play, the, the chin here does play in not only from a look standpoint, but a feel standpoint. In your pocket, it feels great. In your hand, it feels really great. And it's got a, a lot of character. A lot of phones you see coming out now are a standard, just they're a block with a touch screen and some buttons, and they can do stuff. And this really stands out. Um, it looks good. And all around, I think it, it, gets, it gets good marks. It has some improvements to be made with the UI, with a little bit of lagginess and stuff, with some things that could just be added just I guess added um, like the multimedia stuff I'd like to see a flash camera obviously but hey we're gonna see 15 to 20 more Android phones um, by the end of this year and I bet you a bunch of them are coming from HTC so they've got to leave something to improve um, the HTC hero is already one of the best phones on the market I can't wait till it comes to the United States not sure what carrier it's gonna be on but you're probably gonna want it so, HTC Hero, definite winner. Take care.